Good morning, guys. Um, so, I didn't do a video on Friday. Um, so there was nothing for today, for Monday. Uh, and I actually, I didn't do a video on Thursday either because I didn't do anything. I drove, well, I drove three hours. Um, I drove like three hours up to Charlotte just north of Charlotte on Thursday. And then Friday, I didn't leave until, leave the truck stop until like one o'clock in the afternoon because we weren't supposed to be able to pick up until like three. So I got over to the pickup at 2.30 and the load wasn't ready yet. So I sat there from 2.30 to 8.30 waiting to get loaded um, they ended up paying detention after 5 p.m. which was supposed to be $50 an hour she gave me 300 bucks I should have only got like 200 bucks um, but I'm not gonna argue with that uh, so we got out of there, it was about 9, 9.15 at the latest. We went up to the Loves at the bottom of Virginia, uh, 77 exit 1. I always forget the town name there. Slept there for the night, topped off the fuel in the morning, and uh, ran... Ran pretty good Saturday. Um, let's see, Saturday was the first. Not too bad, actually. Uh, 577 miles. Uh, drove nine hours, nine and a half hours, nine hours and 33 minutes. Uh, got here to Montgomery, New York, to the TA. My original plan was to be. Um, right up next to my delivery uh, Saturday night. I planned on running at least four, 400 miles on Friday. I still could have ran about about that, but I was too tired by the time they, they got me loaded. 9.30, I was ready to go to sleep. I was already passing out at 8 o'clock waiting for them to load me. Um, so that's the reason I didn't go further. But now I'm sitting at like 240 miles uh, to get to my next, to get to my next, or to get to my delivery. Um, but I stayed here all day yesterday, Sunday, just so that I can get my 34 in, um, which was done at 7:30. I wanted to be out of here 45 minutes ago. Um, roughly 40 minutes ago, something like that. Um, but for some reason, my check engine light went on. Not my check engine light, my stop engine light, light, light went on um, because of a low coolant. So I didn't bother with it yesterday. I just said, screw it, we'll get it done this morning. We'll throw in, you know, throw a gallon of coolant in there and we'll take off. Uh, so I bought two gallons and this way I had an extra and uh, I put both gallons in and I still needed more so it, I mean it was extremely low I don't know why I ended up putting four gallons of coolant in bought five put another one in the bunk just in case but there's no signs of leaks or anything like that so I don't know if it's just burning up or if I got a, a leak up on the cab or something but I gotta keep a real close eye on it within the next a uh, couple hundred miles. Uh, pretty much I'm going to run up there and, and let's see, 251 miles. So I'll run it up there and then uh, start hunting around and see if I can find a leak or what was going on or maybe I just burnt that much and haven't noticed it. Um, which I, I don't I don't see that really happening. But anyway, um, that's pretty much the recap for the weekend.
I'll give you guys a quick show of the load uh, when we get to the delivery. Um, as of right now, we got to hit the road. got a coolant leak. It's coming from the uh, I don't know what you want to call it, the heater core for the bunk. It's just dripping down really bad coming under, under, up from underneath the sleeper. So there's a, uh, a hose that goes up there and I threw a uh, vice grip on it to hopefully help slow it down a lot. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if I'll have a pair of ice grips by the time we get done, but hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be all right. We'll start looking into uh, seeing what we gotta do to get that fixed and replaced or whatever has to be done with it. Thing, it's another. Oh, that freaking coin. Oh, that's coin. Coming right out of. Oh, right, right out of those lines there. All right. So now that I know it's the heater core and the sleeper, um, I I found the lines going to the back, up on the hood. I ended up taking a walk all the way over to Home Depot and I bought only needed one but I was really looking for uh, the radiator pinch off pliers which look kind of just like these uh, but they they're actually nice and smooth uh, to pinch off uh, radiator lines and they're flat there I mean if you can look real close here there's still an opening here but it's completely flat across. Anyway, I bought three of these just in case. I put one, I put two of them on the one line that I thought was the pressure line. But it wasn't the pressure, it was the return line. So I ended up putting one on each line, found out that that put it down to a very, very tiny drip. Uh, and then I took the one off, it started flowing heavy again, that told me that that was the pressure line. Uh, so now I just got one really tight on the pressure line, and hopefully that will last a couple days. Um, at least until I can get the, the actual pair that's meant for it to clamp it off. And then I am going to be pulling this entire shelving out and getting that heater core replaced. So that'll be a video coming up. Anyway, now we are going to be getting there about 3.30, so we gotta hurry up, get this delivered, and uh, hopefully not have to buy too much more coolant today. I'm actually going to go back out there real quick, so I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like. I'm gonna throw a zip tie around that, um, around the, uh, the vice grip there, so that it can't, it can't come loose as I'm driving down the road. All right, so here's what I did. I just put this one vice grip here on on that that hose, and that's the the pressure hose for for the heater um, for the sleeper heater box there, the heater core in the sleeper. So now I'm just going to put the the zip tie right around here. There we go. Nothing spectacular. Hopefully the uh, the exhaust heat won't melt it and uh, cause it to break but hopefully it'll stay on there for a little while here we go you guys seen them a couple times before this one's a little bit bigger than uh, what I usually do I usually just do a couple of these ones this one chains down a little different they said not to use the d-ring in the back only use these two so that's what we got Hey, so we're all done for the night. <clears throat> we didn't go too far. We went about about 50 miles from the uh, from the delivery. Uh, we're heading up to Rock Rockland. 
You have 2 hours and 42 minutes of remaining drive time. Yeah, Rockland, Maine. Pick up a load of snow plows up there. Uh, it says 8 foot tarp, but I, I'm, I'm assuming that it's just like the other plow place. It's only if there's, you know, one pallet or something like that of stuff that goes along with it. Uh, accessory pieces, nuts, bolts, stuff like that. So, um, so we got that. It's going one stop down to Binghamton, New York. And then I have a load. Uh, it's not completely cleared through yet, but I'm basically attached to it. Uh, I accepted it. Uh, it's a machine coming, a uh, factory machine. Uh, I'll know more if I get it. But it, it picks up in Horseheads, New York, and comes back up to uh, Bridgewater, I think, Massachusetts. So. That's uh, pick up tomorrow, Tuesday, deliver Wednesday, pick up Wednesday, deliver Thursday. And then I just got to find something over here going somewhere else. Uh, but we'll figure that out once I know for sure in the morning if I got that load or not. Uh, definitely going to be interesting. Uh, I was a little skeptical on taking it, but I said, well, we'll give it a shot and see how it works out. And we'll know whether we'll do it again or not. But... Uh, Anyway, uh, we're here in uh, Kennebunk, Kennebunk, something like that, K-E-N-N-E-B-U-N-K, Maine, rest area here in Maine on 95 northbound. Uh, I could have went a little further, there was another rest area, about another 35 miles or something like that, north of here, and that would have left me 60 miles in the morning. Now I'm sitting at roughly 102 miles for tomorrow uh, just to get up to the pickup but I I want to be somewhere I can go to the bathroom in the morning and possibly get a cup of coffee in the morning or a cup of tea whatever whatever I feel like uh, if I feel like having anything but anyway that's enough for tonight uh, just finished eating dinner watching some TV uh, Netflix and uh, probably going to go to bed soon. So, thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, and we should see you tomorrow. Maybe.